Hello Makers! Welcome to 3D Maker Noob! I'm Joe, and today we have a double unboxing to do. Stick around! Welcome back Makers! As you can see right next to me here, I have two boxes. And in one of those two boxes, as you can clearly see, is the TiVo Tarantula. Now this was sent to me by TiVo themselves, asking me if I would be willing to review the Tarantula. Having had so many of you ask me about the TiVo Tarantula, I couldn't really refuse. I have to admit this has been sitting here for about a month and the only reason that has happened is because first of all I was on holidays and secondly there was so much I had to do before that that I had to wait a little bit more for it. Now in the meantime Gearbest have started selling TiVo as well and one of you guys told me that they're uh, selling as well the TiVo Little Monster. Now I have never asked Gearbest best to send me any particular printer. Whatever they send, they send out to their own free will and I am happy to oblige and do a review of it. However, when it came to the little monster, I actually had to ask them if it's possible for them to send me one to review because well, let's face it, you guys know my love for Delta, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity to ask to review the Little Monster. And thanks to Gearbest, now I have a Little Monster sitting on my desk. Now, as you know, it's been quite a few weeks now since I've done a full live build of a printer. And that's because the last two live builds were upgrades for the Prusa. One was for the Mark II uh, S upgrade and the one was for the multi-material upgrade. So I figured it's time for us to do the unboxing first and then, at the end of this episode, I'm going to ask you to help me decide which one of these two I'm going to be doing a live build of this Saturday. Let's get unboxing, shall we? So we will start off with the TiVo Tarantula. Now, I know for a fact that TiVo have a habit of really packing well their kits. So I'm really curious to see firsthand how that pans out. First up, we have the manual. This, I'm guessing, is a packing list. Yes, it is. After sales card, we have a business card, and we have the, the assembly manual. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you that this seems like it's quite, quite a manual, actually. It seems very well illustrated. And I can also see that install the parts package. It, they're actually, I think everything is in packages to assemble. Now remember that when Angus built his TiVo Tarantula, he had some difficulty because the instructions weren't very clear. I think they have um, heeded his words. Next layer, we have a couple of spools. This is actually nice. Okay, so this is ABS filament. Now the ABS is actually multicolored. It changes color the further in you go into the spool. That's actually quite nice. I like that. And we have a spool of white PLA filament. This is the bed frame, the power cable. We have some more cables here, limit switches. This is actually nice. This must be at least 16 gauge. Next up we have USB cable. We have a PTFE tube and we also have the heat bed. Now, wow, okay. So the heat bed, it already has some kind of like Biltec type finish on it. Not too convinced about these connectors. Um, as you know, I don't really like these type of connectors, but we'll see how it goes. Next up, we have power supply. And the power supply is a 12 volt, 25 amp power supply, more acrylic parts. And this is, yep, this is like the instructions, which I pointed out. You have B7, B71, so every step is a bag and a part, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna try not to move these around too much. Over here we have cable management and another bag. More parts here with some more, more acrylic parts. And this is actually, okay, so it's very straightforward. I actually really like the way it's packed. I'm guessing this is some custom style hot end because I've never actually seen one like it. Some more bags. There is an eight gig SD card over there, fan, tools, L-shaped brackets for the frame. We have more acrylic parts. We have the belts, cable ties, and more rollers. And over here we have the stepper motors. In the last layer, we have some 20 by 20 aluminum frame and 20 by 40 aluminum frame. 
There are some more 20 by 40 over there, more parts and rollers. This thing has a lot of rollers, more parts and another bag of screws. I have to say that this, this gets a lot of points from me for organized packaging. The screen, we'll just scroll, this is actually quite smooth. Another bag, cables, and some more acrylic parts down there in the bottom. Over here, we have some more acrylic parts, which I'm guessing is to cover the main board. There's a fan, which I also know goes on the main board to cool it down. And we have the main board over here. So this is interesting because the main board is actually open. So no idea what kind of main board it exactly is. Um, it looks cool. Everything is color coded, which makes life easier. Okay, so just so you know, this is really heavy. So we have once again, business card, off to sales card, manual and a packing list. Another thing I need to point out is that this manual is actually, it seems much smaller than the TiVo Tarantula's manual. So possibly because there's less to assemble. So first up we have parts pack. I'm guessing these are the feet. More parts over here. We, whoa, whoa. This is massive. This, this thing is huge. Also very heavy so I can see why this thing weighs a ton. We have here. Ugh. Attention, please remove the blue plate, including hotbed from black plate before installation. It's nice to see that the heating element uh, takes alternative current, 220 volts, 300 watts. So very much welcome. The power supply, yep. This looks really cool. I have this looks seriously, seriously cool. It looks really nice in terms of material. Build quality seems very solid. You have two USB outputs. One is one amp, one is 2.1 amps. So I'm guessing to charge your things maybe. Voltage indicator, connectors, or screws. Here we have the hot end assembly. Ooh, with BL touch. Over here we have the LCD screen, which is also a touch screen, SD card and USB input. Over here we have some, okay, so these are the rails. So I don't know if you guys can actually see this. Um, you can actually adjust these, uh, these two over here. These two are fixed. These are adjustables, which means you can tighten them up against the rails. Stepper motor brackets and some more screws. This is another rail bracket. And I'm guessing another one over there. What next, what next, what next? Anything in here? Yes, we have some screws in here. The rods, which are extremely light. So I am guessing these are carbon fiber rods. As you can see here, we have some massive, massive rails. <laughs> I'm not even sure what size they are. So this is 20 by 40, so it's 40 by 80. I would assume, at least I'm guessing they are 40 by 80. Some more rails over there. Over here we have spool holder, some more screws, lots of screws, more screws and more plate. This is the main board. Everything seems in order and in one piece. Over here we have the extruder and the belts already tied up to it. Very, very much similar to a Titan extruder. It's almost a spitting image of a Titan extruder, so it could be a Titan clone. And last but not least, we have our three stepper motors in here. So, both TiVos have been unpacked. Well, now they're repacked, just for the sake of being tidy. This is what we're going to do now. I am going to leave a link in the video's description to a poll which I will put on my Twitter account. This poll will simply say, which of these two printers would you like to see a live build of this Saturday? I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. And the poll will run for about 48 hours or 72 hours and we'll take it from there. Obviously, this being my channel, I will get to have the first vote.
I will leave a non-affiliate link to TiVo Direct website in the video description. And I will also leave some affiliate links for Gearbest and their uh, TiVo models along with some discount codes that they have provided me with. In the meantime, that is it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this double unboxing and make sure to go on Twitter and leave your vote. Whichever one you please, either of the two. Thank you very much for watching guys. Leave a comment, share, like, subscribe, and as always, happy making guys.